Okay guys, back on the trestle bridge now. I've just got to put my cross braces on. Now the way I'm hoping to do it is by putting the cross braces on now. I can take the top off, the top of the bridge off the trestles when I have to. So I've got to actually put the cross braces on first to line it up so hopefully she lines back in the slots on the bottom so the top of the bridge can come off and on if I have to take it off for any reason so that's why she's now upside down to put the cross braces on just like the top one now the top one's all just clamped on at the moment because that's not the right spot where it's going to go that's just so I can start from the bottom and work myself up so I'll start gluing the bottom okay progress continues on putting the cross braces on as you can see I've just got a couple more to go So I've done the three rails on the other side. So I'll keep going. Okay guys, this side's now completely done. I've just got to finish the other side. So I've just got this side to go. And then she's finished. Off the cross bracing anyway. Okay guys, it's all finished now with the cross beams, all the braces. Now the only thing I've got to do now is this part. Here's where it joins to the small part, which I'm going to do some criss crisscrossing of the timber as well. So I'll go ahead and finish that part, then I'll flip it over and, and show the you. small braces are on the small part of the bridge. Now all I have to do is the angle bracing. So I'll start the angle bracing now. Okay guys, I'm going to glue some angle bracing on now. And I've pre-cut them all and they'll all go like so. So still using me, me good glue. And then I'll just place them on like so. I'll just work myself up.
So what I'll do is I'll I'll finish it all and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. I just thought I'd show you how I'm doing my angle brace bracing. Okay, now all the angle bracing is completed on the back and front. Okay, guys, back on the trestle bridge now. I'm now going to make splice plates. So what I'm using is this five mil wide icy pole stick. So all I've got to do is put the stick up and and cut them. The splice plates are obviously going to go on the trestle bridge. <coughs> to cover where you think there would be a join. So, so every join in the in the cross beams or the angle beams. We'll have one of these. Well, I've got the two two sizes. These small ones, and then just a little bit longer. And I'll show you. I'll show you what they're for. Now the wider ones will cover in between the ends. So the wide ones are always going to go. So one, two, so on. But at the ends, I will use the small ones, which will go at the end of each angle brace. And then I'll paint, these will be painted brown, either brown or black, but I think brown. And also, They'll have um, nuts and bolts also added to it, but before I do that part, I've got to cut all these and um, paint them, then glue them on before I can do the rest of the snow. So I'll carry on cutting them, okay, guys? And I've painted me splice plates, and I've also used the Tamiya Red Brown and I've also put one up right here so all the splice plates will go on every joint just so it looks like it's not one full length of timber which they'd never make anyway so and I'm using super glue to, to glue them on okay guys all I'm doing is using this super glue now all I'm going to do is put a little dab well not as much as that but Sorry about the fingers. And I'll just keep working myself up. And these are the smaller version. So 
So I'll just keep keep going on and nice plates again. are on now, guys. All glued. Now all I've got to do is put the nuts and washers on, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, guys. My, now my next part is putting the the hex nut and washers in the in the plates. Now what I'm using is a product called Titchi. Now the number is 8080. Now all these you get 96 nuts and bolts with the washers on. So these little things are going to go into my splicing plates. Now just to show you if you can actually see how small these things are. So that's how small they are. So all I've got to do now is drill into my plates. Now the the ones on the ends are going to have one bolt, but there'll be two bolts when it's not an end. So all these ones will be one, that will be one, but all these will be two. And because they're so small, I definitely need tweezers, but I'm going to use super glue too, but I'm also going to put the uh, once I've got it in the tweezers, I'm just going to sh shove the whole lot in the super glue because it should give me the effect of rusty looking nuts and bolts. But anyway, I'll set up ready to show you how I'm going to do them. So now I'm going to drill them and I'm going to use my little hand drill. Now my hands might might get in the way because this is really fiddly stuff and it's the hot the I'll need to use this magnifying glass light to actually put them in because my eyesight's not as good as what it used to be. But anyway, the first one I'm going to do is this one and all I do is screw it in. So, the same as this one. I'll just do a couple just to show you what it's going to look like. Now this one I'm doing now will have the two. And I'll even do this one. But anyway, okay, guys. Now the way I'm getting these off is I'm using just these cutters. 
and I've got to actually hold them so when I cut them if I don't hold them they f they'll fly anywhere so I'll lose them and as you can see how small they are hoping you can sort of see from that angle. So all I'm doing is using the super glue. And as I said I dipped the whole bolt See how fiddly it is. And I've only got about a hundred and fifty of these to do. That's my first one. So what I do and then I, I dab it and it gives the it gives the um, the rust look once it hits once the glue hits that paint. If you get them in the tweezers properly, it's not as hard. This one's just been a stubborn one. Just like so. That's how they all should go when it's easy as that one. And I'll keep going. I'll do a couple more and then I'll, I'll do the rest.
so as you can see, how fiddly they are. But let's zoom in on it. Okay, guys, all the titchy nuts and bolts are all on now. See if I can get a real close up view. So that part's finished, so all I've got to do now is put the snow on. And icicles.